Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're gonna be taking a look at how we can resolve the issue where it says RTC battery or CMOS battery uh, too low or something along those lines. And you need to uh, change the date and time of the system. It will automatically take you into the BIOS. The problem you may have is the battery, the uh, real time uh, uh, clock is um, not holding the time and this is your battery your CMOS battery and basically you can pick these up on Amazon I'll put the link in the video description they're pretty cheap just buy a bunch of them uh, they don't go they last for many years you won't have to change them that often this is a, a relatively old laptop and sometimes the over the course of time the batteries will deplete and they will need replacing now sometimes the batteries are uh, the small yellow type with the two little uh, connectors or a connector on them and sometimes they're glued to the board uh, you might need to just lift them up a little bit of heat sometimes lifts them not too much because you can cause a problem uh, sometimes they're just sitting there resting underneath a little panel and also sometimes uh, they're actually molded onto the board on the more modern ones so you just need to uh, find out which one you've got this is an older one which is on its own little socket which you can actually remove uh, very easily so I'll show you basically how to do that uh, what we're going to do is power up here and I'll show you uh, what the error is. So you'll get this error here. RTC battery is low and that's what you're going to get. Press F2 to enter and set the date and time. Now if the battery is already depleted then your information will not be stored on here. You won't be able to store any information and you'll continually get this error message or you may get something up the top left hand corner up here and that means your battery is uh, uh, finished and you will need to replace that. Okay, they're not all looking like this. Sometimes they're small little yellow ones, as I've already mentioned, and they may be different types, uh, but they all do the same thing, basically. Um, so what I'm going to do here is push F2, and that's going to take me into the BIOS, and you will see here uh, the system time and date. And uh, the system time and date is obviously out. It says the 1st of the 1st, 2010, that's probably when this was manufactured. It can't hold any information. And then you've got uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, and the amount of seconds that we've been um, waffling on, basically. So that's basically what's going to happen. It can't store any information, and you won't be able to boot to the system. So what we're going to do here is uh, go ahead, and I'll show you how to resolve this. So to change these, down the bottom here, you should see F5 and F6 change values and you also see F10 to save and exit. So if your battery is okay, it just might need the time and date changed on here. And if that is the case, what you need to do is put the system time in and you can use the F button, uh, the F keys here, which it's telling you to use the F5 and F6 and to change those times. So you can see here, I'm just gonna change this. And what is the time? The time is uh, 1542. So just go ahead and change the time. Use the tab key to move it over. And uh, basically, um, just gonna quickly, what did I say the time was? So that's uh, 43, okay. So just change the time here, 43. And basically, uh, once you've done this one, you can use the arrow keys, which are your little arrow keys here to go into your system date. And now you'll need to put a modern date in here, okay? So put the modern date, not the 2010. So it'll be 1903, 2019. So normally uh, these are like so. And we need to put 19. And we need to change that to 2019 and once you've done that you are pretty much good to go you push f10 and you should get the exit uh, and save changes and hopefully once you boot up it should be good now there's no drive in here there's no media so no windows operating system on here um, but basically that should store the, the date and the system date and information on there that you need. If you're having problems, you need to power it down, shut the uh, laptop up, and you're gonna need to 
get into the back panel here. So let me just remove the uh, battery. So the battery will be simple. It's important to remove the battery. I'm keeping this bit of paper here because my uh, information for my key is there. And this one is nice and simple. We do have one screw. So just remove one screw. And this will let you uh, remove the back panel. Once you've removed the back panel, put it to one side and you should see your CMOS battery here. And you want to replace this, okay, with another battery. And I'll leave the link in the video description for these batteries, they're pretty cheap and once they're replaced they should last you a long time. And uh, basically once you've removed it, you can use something like uh, a pair of tweezers or, or a small screwdriver. Be very careful not to damage the board. I'm just going to lift this up and it should pop out like so. Now sometimes uh, you're going to get a different type of um, CMOS battery here, maybe yellow, maybe a different colour, and it may have a little wire to it that's clipping onto the board, maybe under a little panel on its own, it might not be on a big panel like this, and sometimes they may be slightly glued to the bottom of the board, which you might need to prise up uh, slowly. And sometimes uh, the more modern laptops are even moulded to the board. So, um, so I've seen those uh, types uh, that someone was mentioning um, in the Discord channel. And if that is the case, then that might need a, a different um, approach. But if, if they are removable, then you can remove them and replace them. I'm, I'm not sure why they would mould it to the board, uh, because obviously you wouldn't be able to replace it that easy. But this is pretty straightforward. So just go and get yourself uh, one of these new batteries. Once you've got the new battery, just going to get the battery. I'm going to slot it in, push it down like so, and then put your other battery in and put your back plate on like so. And just put your screw down and you're good to go. Now this doesn't have a working operating system on it and uh, if it did it will boot up and you should be pretty much good to go from there. Um, but once I get Windows put onto here uh, this will resolve the problem. Now the information on here may need to be changed again. You may need to go back into the BIOS and uh, you may need to change those uh, dates and time and if we go in there now you'll see uh, that it hasn't held probably that information. So let me just, this has not gone down correctly here. So let's flip her over. And if I power this on, you'll probably see that there is no information stored from what we did before. And see, there we go. We are now in the BIOS. Let me just show you the screen. And you'll see the date and time and everything else is still 2010 and that's because the battery that was in there uh, was depleted and it was no good and needed to be replaced. Now once we change this date and time again uh, and push F10 to save that problem should be resolved and you should be back up and running and, uh, and that's how you can resolve that issue. Anyway that's about it for this video. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out guys. Anyway I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.